Good morning, everybody. Uh, check and make sure we're rolling here. Yeah, uh, so I got a job building some shutters for a customer in Enid here. And uh, they're a real simple design. They wanted a copy of their neighbors. I'll try to start this video with a picture I took to build these from. Really simple, all two by six construction. Um, just by two two by six by eight so obviously going to depend on what size window you have i'm going to run two boards one of the boards one of the battens for a smaller version of this so you can see exactly how they're built they're incredibly simple and really reasonable to make this is two shutters i think they're six feet tall and 18 inch battens so you get it all out of a two by six by eight so I think all told, $60 in wood and screws, maybe 40 in a really nice gallon of stain, but the customer bought the stain they wanted to match their house. Anyway, what we do is, this is a, a half inch wide V bit, and these are being mounted directly to a brick home. So I want air to be able to get behind these shutters to keep them dry if water would ever get back there. Also want all the pieces to be stained before they're put together. So I'm going to grab a couple of little boards here that I have. This is going to represent the, the board, the vertical part of the shutter, and this will represent the batten across here. And I'll show you how to make these two. And then beyond that, how you assemble them is just Kind of your aesthetic choice, whatever you like. So, we're gonna flip this on with our V-groove bit, and we're gonna put two V-grooves in the back of our piece. And the way I do it on my router here, with it built right in my table, I like just a really simple fence. And setting it up, I'm just gonna go, if you're building a bunch of shutters, as long as you route them all at the same time, just set that about where you want it so you can get two evenly spaced screws routed in each board and then i don't know i'm going to throw an extra clamp on there just to be double sure we're going to route grooves only in the back of this i don't see a need really in the battens there's no brick behind them just wood so let's route these two real quick <laughs> And you'll have to clean this up with a uh, razor blade. Generally, with those pointed bits, that's just the way it is. Run your razor blade in like that. The groove will clean right out. So now you have two nice grooves in the back. To provide a little stress relief as well, that's how they make door casings and everything. It keeps it from cupping and bowing a little bit anyway. No guarantees, but it should help. Now we'll get rid of our fence because our next bit is going to be bearing guided and we're going to be doing the outside edges. Here's that bit. It's going to be a Bosch half inch by 11 sixteenths round over with a bearing. I prefer Freud Quattro's, but I just happen to have this one handy and they need their shutters done. Well, you know how customers are yesterday. The sooner the better, landscaping's coming and they want me out of the flower bed hanging these before the landscaping crew comes in. So, we're gonna try to do that for them. Pop this little V-grooving bit out. We'll drop this round over down in and Okay, we had a little failure there. My phone overheated. Anyway, I put in this half inch round over and I got that set just below the table. And now we just video 
was still running. But anyway, these two, we just put that nice round over on the edges and uh, then you can just sand that until it's perfect. Uh, so we have our V-groove in the back here, round over on this. And when you put these up, this will be each shutter, back set that a little bit and you'll have your three rails here. I'll show you what some look like that I've got laying out for stain now. But that's all there is to it. Fairly simple little project. Um, then screw together from the back. If I can think about it, I'll do a little clip on that too. And do your pre-stain and be sure to seal them with a UV resistant exterior stain. Uh, I think I'm using Olympic on this and it's a dark mahogany color. Okay, let's go take a look at what they look like over here now. Okay, right over here we have the ones I'm working on. I've gotten the bottoms of these stained. I don't know if you can see, that's all the V-grooves in all these long ones for these six-foot windows. Here's the tops, and they're ready for stain. They've been sanded and got their preconditioner on. So I'll just be wiping on an Olympic stain and then let them set. I'll do a light sanding in the morning and do a second coat tomorrow. After that, after two coats on them, those should be good to go. And we should see how our customer likes them. But real quick, easy thing to make. And uh, turns out they're actually really expensive online. The customer looked for them there and uh, look like most of the sizes come in around $400 a set. And that obviously wouldn't be installed. So anyway, that's what we're working with. There's our little setup for routing them all. Pretty easy little job. Okay, I'll check back in in a little while. Hey guys, I'm back again. I took a little bit and got these stained. I got two coats of Olympic mahogany color stain on these and they're they've been drying for over 24 hours but they're still not perfection yet and my new bits came in too these are the ones that i wanted to use to make these um freud uh quadra cuts this would be the one i used yesterday half inch with a half inch shank round over and then i got me a three quarter inch round over too because i thought that might be kind of nice anyway what we need to do, I've already put this shutter together and I thought I'd put this one together on video and show you how it was done. These are the pieces, I stained them all the way around. That's my center pieces. And they, I believe, are 14 inches long. Centers are 14, these shutters are six feet tall, 18 inches wide from here to there and then 14 inch binders or battens 14 inch battens for it okay now what i'm doing though is flipping these upside down to the v-groove side that goes against the house and getting ready to get the holes drilled and i like to be really sure i'm dead straight on everything if I can. Kind of reduces the mistakes here. Get that on there, make sure my ends are all square to each other. And uh, now we'll set the outsides to 18 inches. 18 there. 18 on this end. And then I will attempt to center that middle board as best as I can by eye. I don't believe it needs to be any better than that. You could put a three quarter piece of one by four in between these to space them, but they're rustic. It looks really good right there. Okay, now I happen to know my center down I'm coming out right about 14 and 3 quarter inches from the center of the batten to the end of the shutter. So I'm going up each one of these, marking it at 14 and 3 quarter, 14 and 3 quarter, and again. And we'll do that on this end. 
14 and 3 quarter, 14 and 3 quarter. And what this is doing is giving me the dead center of where this batten will be so that I can get my screws in the proper location. Okay, now we're using my PDC drill. I really like this. I actually won this from a uh, uh, contractor for them online. Like the first month I was a member, felt kind of bad. Anyway, uh, putting in the countersink bit, it's got a stop on it. Let's see if I can show you this a little better. It's got a stop on it right here, so you can only drill so deep. It countersinks your screws right here at the end to fit the heads. And then I've got this adjusted to go all the way through as deep as I need to go. And what we're going to do is go, I want this to pull this as flat as possible. So I'm offsetting my screws, like on this center one here. I want one screw down just to the right of center. Push that down until the stop hits and you know you're perfect. Then I'll just jog it up the other side. Go down until I hit. Then on these, you've got to keep it to the inside because uh, there's not that much board on this one. It only goes to the second V groove. But I want two screws holding it and I'm going to keep them as close to this side as possible. I'm going to put these together with GRK treated wood rated even though these are not treated. I hate treated wood. If I can avoid using it I will just because it twists so bad. It is just terrible. You'll build a project and you're almost guaranteed a call back from a customer that doesn't understand how wood works, you know. But we do the best we can. We're gonna get our six holes in this end. Bear with me just a moment. <coughs> then we'll be back over here. One, Oh, where'd I like it? There we go. Get this other side. I think I like right there. I've got two and five eighths inch screws. I believe that's what they are. Anyway, they they go through. Don't have a dust collecting drill yet, but <laughs> not for this, huh? Okay, now what I did on the last one with this, we'll just flip our Centratech out, flip in our other one with our GRK driver. And I got six right here on the box. We're just going to get these screws started so I don't have to try to do it upside down. Pulling them in, man. You can see how earlier in the video I showed building a board and a batten. It's the exact same thing now. You got two V-grooves in the back evenly spaced to help with stress. Round overs around the front. Done. That's it. Okay, let's get six screws in this other end. And then we'll flip it over and get them fastened to the battens. So, y'all just give me some more ideas for some easy to build shutters. I've wanted to learn to build louvered shutters, but uh, for a couple of reasons, that requires some pretty interesting equipment to do. I think I could do it with my domino machine. I do, but it would involve building a jig to make that work nothing against that that would actually be a really neat project to tackle building uh louvered shutters with the domino <laughs> yeah. maybe someday we'll try that depends on what a customer might order in the future if i get orders for custom wood shutters and they're willing to pay what it would take to get them built then 
we may just have to learn how to do that, huh? I've built a few of these before, but most of the ones I've built have been a lot more just decorative, and I built them from one by fours. So you can do them that way too. This is just going on a very large house, on a golf course, fancy, big ceilings. They actually color match their stain to match their flooring and their kitchen and all that. By the way, these battens are going on at 12 inches up to the bottom. These are six foot shutters. So I'm going 12 inches up from the bottom and they'll be 14 wide. This total is 18, so they're inset two inches on either side. We're gonna do that on both ends. Get these setting right where they need to be. If we're that accurate. Using these fast cap tape measures. I'm a pretty big fan of them. I don't know what all everybody else uses, but you cannot beat having a pad right on your tape where you can take down a whole room's trim measurements right here on the side. Just right on, right on there with your carpenter pencil. And I use these uh, pica pencils. So you can go right on here and just write like 12 feet, two inches. And there it is. And when you're done and you got that piece cut, you just wipe that right off. You're clean, ready to go again. So I do that. Okay, let's get us uh, six more screws for that other end. And we will be on the way to finish with this little project other than hanging them. And that's going to be entertaining as well. But I like to put one or two screws in if it doesn't feel like the board moved much. I'll go ahead and put both center ones. But then I like to really check and see if my hold is still good. If I'm still on 12, 12, and two, and then I'm happy. And I can get the rest of these screws run in. We already got these pre-started, so I'm gonna run them on in. Get them nice and snug. That's very nice. Okay, I'm gonna move this camera so we can actually stay seeing each other. Okay, we got this end here to do. Didn't get the screws pre-started on here, so actually I did. How about that? You ever forget? Sometimes I forget. Right, we're gonna pull that one down tight. This board in the center, I had a board with a little warp in it. It warped drying in the sun and I uh, chose to put it here in the center because I think we can pull quite a bit of it out by forcing it to be right in here with these others. We'll see anyway. Maybe, maybe not. If I can't, I'll make them a new one. Took a lot out right there. Ooh, yeah. I think I like it. Okay. Realized I did the longest segment on putting them together, but hopefully this makes them fairly easy to understand. Okay. Here are the shutters. And they're all made. They're heavy too. But uh, they're going to be installed using, um, oh, what is it? Tap cons. I'm going to be putting three and a quarter inch tap cons into the, into the house. That's how all their neighbors are done. They want theirs to match. So I think you'll think it's weird if I do anything else. I would probably use a sleeve anchor on my own house just because I could just take a bolt, take a nut off and restain these as needed instead of having to undo a Tapcon. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of Tapcons and they may not I'll work like I want them to every time. 
Anyway, these are still a little bit damp. I'm gonna give them one more day. We had a whole lot of rain yesterday. I think three plus inches, and it's just got the humidity so high that this is not, it's not gonna dry in time to put them on tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna see if the customer's okay with waiting until Monday morning. Anyway, this is these. These were built completely with six, uh, two by six by eights. That's all you need. That'll take care of the boards and the battens. You can build a nice set of shutters six foot tall. Um, you could go seven foot tall, but if you do that, you're gonna wanna work your averages in for, your, for where these go to make them look aesthetically correct. Anyway, that's about all you need. Uh, miter saw, router, drill, tape measure, countersink bit, a round over and a V nose groove bit for the uh, router, and you're good. That'll make you a set of shutters. Let me know if you make a set and what you thought of it, and uh, any other styles that you may have come up with that are nice and simple. I think they look pretty classy. We'll catch you all on the next one.